I just filmed everything and then realized that I did not film an intro. So consider this my intro. Yay, we're going estate sailing. Come with me. So this is from the first estate sale. It had some really nice hidden gems for sure. It was a little bit more cluttered than I expected, but I still was really, really happy with what I found. I love the embroidery on this, but I could not justify getting a nightgown. And this is just a visual of the space, obviously. It had a couple coats. And then the second estate sale was pretty much only clothing that I really took the time to go see because I had a much nicer, much smaller, cleaner layout. So it was very, very easy to just go through the racks and I really appreciated their organization. And it was absolutely stuffed. I had some beautiful, beautiful pieces that I did leave for other people just because I didn't really feel like they were my style, but I definitely appreciated them and I absolutely love them. I do regret not getting some of them, but that is just life and I can always manifest to see something just like it again. Holy shit. I just got so much stuff. Every, every single piece of clothing was $1 there. One dollar. I got 17 pieces of clothing and then two just like miscellaneous items. But oh my god. I am so excited. I literally, I went at the end of the sale and I have two full shopping bags in the back. And I'm so excited about everything. Literally. Plus, if, it, if I don't like it, it's one dollar. I can either resell it for like three or I can just donate it. Like, literally insane. Insanity. Hello there. So I took some clips of what the closets kind of looked like at the estate sales today. I went to one this morning and it wasn't bad by any means. It just wasn't really what I expected, but I was excited. So I tried my very, very best to go to the second estate sale of the day. And oh my God. Oh my God. All of the clothes there were a dollar and this wasn't even on like the 50% off day but my first sale was about 15 minutes away from here it's actually a neighborhood where my last apartment was pretty much so I knew the area pretty well I was excited to see kind of the inside of some of the homes there and it was pretty busy there and it wasn't a super big house or anything so it was a little bit cluttered um which is what to be expected and the sale did say that it was a small house with a lot of stuff in it so I was mentally prepared but I just wanna show a couple things that I got from that. I only got about three or four things from there. I did get a pair of earrings that I gave to my mother already. They're carrots, cause she has rabbits. I got this beautiful necklace. It's like a gold with, it says I think ruby and opal, yeah. And I'm super, super excited about it. It's kind of a nice small pendant, nothing too crazy. I got my boyfriend some binoculars cause he's a really strange guy. And when we went to the first estate sale, he was like, you know, I think that they would have really good binoculars. And so when I saw these, I was like, I absolutely have to get them. And they were like $2, so how could I pass up? And he's really excited when I told him. So the other one is somewhere in this bag, but I got this lemon earring. It's like a little lemon slice, so it goes this way. Very excited about that. I actually have a pair of lemon earrings, and I don't know where they are right now, so I'm very excited about that. And then for another dollar, I got these earrings. They're very, very cute. They have like, they have a bird at the top and then it kind of falls and kind of makes like a pendulum looking shape and then has another bird. It is the same bird, but they're just super, super cute. Very simple. And then I found, this was advertised as a decent amount of clothes um, to my memory. And in the first room, I found this piece it is like very, very see-through. I didn't really realize how see-through it was, but I will try this on if I can. But it's a beautiful, beautiful color, and it looks like almost the straps are like ribbons. I'm really excited about it. It just looks very comfy. And then I am not entirely sure if this is a men's jacket or a woman's jacket. It's from Discus Sport. Um, I'm not sure what that is, but... It makes me happy 
because all I can think about when I see this is like an old man or an old lady like kind of shuffling around wearing one of these jackets. Let me show you why. Like I feel like as soon as I show you, you're gonna know why. First of all, it's another crazy cat thing and if you watch my last estate sale, you know that I love cats. Uh, I'm just gonna throw it on, I'm just about to shower anyway, but. Oh, that's so comfy. That's so nice, literally. I'm really excited for that. It just, it reminds me of an old person and, and an old person being happy with their cats. I love that vibe. And then this was the most expensive thing I got at $10. But I saw this on the listing originally and I know that it's a men's jacket, but I couldn't resist trying it on. And there is just something about it that I actually, that I actually really, really like. Let me squat down a little bit. But it kind of reminds me of like a cowboy. And because I have big shoulders, I feel like the shoulders actually fit very, very nicely. And I'm just like super, super comfy. And at $10, I mean, it's like a tough suede material, but I feel like I kind of look like a cowboy professor. And I like that vibe. But it has a little hanky and it says C on it. That's really, really cute. And then at the second estate sale that I went to, I literally, when I was driving out there, I texted my boyfriend like, hey, if I don't come back, my address that I'm at is in my planner on the counter. Cause I was genuinely kind of worried. Like it was very, very remote. And then all of a sudden I was in a housing plan. So I was very happy about that, but there was no signage for this and you had to call to get the address. So I was surprised that, like there was still a decent amount of people. The sale ended at two and I went at 120 cause it was an hour drive. And so I went from like, I left at 1220 and I got there at 120. And since there were no signs, I kind of like walked up to the door slowly and then I saw someone walking around inside and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna open the door. Like the worst thing they can say is like, get out of my house. So I just tried it and thankfully it was the right thing. There were only old people in there and I love old people, so nothing against that, I, I loved it. And there were a couple older ladies that I was like following around the closets. There was the one closet and I didn't really find anything. And I was like, oh damn, did I really just drive an hour to like not find anything? And then I continued around the house. Cause obviously these are houses you've never been to. It'd be really cool though, if it was like a house you had been to, but you don't really know like the layout. So I was kind of walking around looking for like another closet. And then I found another one and I found like a decent amount of pieces. And I went out there and they were like, do you wanna put that stuff on hold? And I was like, sure. like. I'll just keep looking for a minute. And they were like, have you been to the garage yet? And I was like, no, um, what's in the garage? What am I supposed to know about the garage? And they were like, there are racks of clothing in there. And I was like, well, that's just dangerous. I already have quite a good amount of stuff. And so I proceeded to the garage where I found so many incredible pieces that I'm so excited about. But we are going to start with miscellaneous. So this is Gourmet chef. This is for my boyfriend's grandmother. And then on my way out, I saw this for my boyfriend, you know. I don't really care if it's Mimi or anything. I think it's so cute. And like, even if he doesn't use it, he can put it somewhere. Cause that's just like so cute. And it didn't have a price on it. So I was a little bit like, hey, like how much are we gonna do this for? And then they were like, oh, I think we priced it at 10. And the one was like, no, eight. And the one was like, let's just do six. So we did six for this. If you're ready for it, I have two bags of clothes now. I ended up spending, I think, $30 on everything I got here when this lunchbox was six, the rolling pin was six, and I got 17 pieces of clothing. I think it was like $30, but we have this gorgeous, gorgeous cardigan. It's like a middle green, so I'm really excited for that. And then this is like the ultimate bumblebee sweater. And I was actually a bumblebee a couple years ago at Halloween. So I just feel like this was meant to be, but I really like this as well. I honestly feel like my boyfriend could wear it, but I'm not sure if it's supposed to be just for women. 
This is like a gorgeous little set almost. Well, it is a set. And it's like meshy and kind of see-through. And then the bottom, I'm assuming the bottom is just a skirt. I honestly was just so stressed. I was holding so many things. I was like, just grab and go. But I think these are gonna be so cute together. And this woman has some fashion taste. She had good ass taste in fashion. And it's just like so unique as well. And like I found a lot of like animal print pieces, which I've been trying to find that kind of vibe. So I'm super, super excited about that. I, I know I just threw it on the ground, but I'm gonna wash all this stuff. This is another one of those little sets. This is the skirt side to it. And then this is obviously the top. I do think this top might be kind of big, but I'm willing to try it. Why not for one dollar? And the sets as well. I didn't have to pay like one for the top, one for the bottom. It was just like one dollar. This is so freaking cute. It kind of reminds me of like a tiger and a zebra had a baby. And I've been manifesting a zebra kind of button up. So I feel like my prayers have been kind of answered. Excited to see how that looks. And then I have this stunning skirt. I'm really hoping this one fits me as well. It does have pockets. It has a button with a zip. Oh my gosh, no, it doesn't have a zip. Oh my gosh, it's just, it's a wrap. Oh, that's gonna be so interesting to see. I'm excited for this. I, I really don't know how I'm supposed to put it on and like how it's supposed to look, but I am excited. And I don't know if you watched my haul a while ago, actually. I thrifted a lighthouse, kind of like denim chambray. And this is like the same exact vibe, but with freaking teacups. Teacups, like how fun is that? I don't know where these people come up with these things, but I'm so excited about that. Okay, this is safety pinned right now. Um, it was like safety pinned onto a coat hanger. I'm super excited about this as well. It has a little zip up the side with a little um, button. I'm telling you, this lady, her and I, we would have been friends. I would have stolen her clothes. And then I love this piece. I don't really know if I look like a cult member in it, but it is very, very pretty. It's like a pastel yellow. She had these in a couple other pieces as well. I do think a couple of these things are gonna be a little bit big, but it's nothing I can't take in a little bit maybe. I'm super excited to try that on. It is very, very long, so I think maybe my height will work with me here. Then I have this other little denim chambray type thing. It kind of reminds me of like one of those like paisley handkerchiefs, paisley handkerchief type things. Um, very, very cute. Now this dress is kind of the star of the show. I'm a little bit confused on the neckline, but I noticed like a lot of vintage stuff has the like fold over, which I can just sew down if I really like get pissed at. But oh my God, I thought it was a jumpsuit at first, but I was trying to put it on and then there was no zipper and I was like, how am I supposed to get into this? Cause it doesn't like really seem like it's stretchy, but it's a dress. So we avoided that confusion. This is absolutely stunning though. And such like a nice, like lightweight material and like animal print, like animal print galore. It did come with this underneath, which I didn't see until after. And I don't really know if I'm supposed to wear this underneath, but I don't think I will be doing that. So we'll see if I like this separate. I freaking love this skirt, love it. I think it is so, so flattering and just so dainty and so pretty. I'm a huge, huge fan. I also think it's a very nice length and it does have pockets. This lady is just ahead of her time. She has pockets in like all of her skirts. And then this is another little set. It does have like little people, which I love personally. I don't know if I'll necessarily wear these two things together because this is like a long dress with the same exact kind of material and pattern. So I'm not sure if I'll just make that like versatile where one is a dress and then one is a top that I wear as well. Stay tuned, I guess. This is like a little fiery skirt, which I just love. I'm really, really hoping that my hips actually fit into this. I'm a little bit worried about it, but overall, very, very cute. This one does not have pockets, but that's okay. 
We win some, we lose some. For a dollar, we win everything. And if you've made it this far, this might be my biggest haul I have ever, ever done and maybe that I will ever do because this is insane the amount of pieces I have here. But this top I'm super excited about. I'm a bit nervous that it might be too big, but I can always crop it and just make it super cute because it has like this nice little rainbowy moment with the buttons on the front. This is like a very, very fun, stretchy, like rib knit sweater, which I'm super excited about. I feel like it will fold very, very nicely. And it does look like the proper amount of vintage. I'm so excited to wear it. Literally, this might be one of my favorite finds from this haul. Now, if you made it this far, thank you so much. You may as well subscribe at this point though, because if you like seeing what I got, I like showing you what I got. But I would love if you were to subscribe like, comment, tell me what you like, tell me what you didn't like. We can have a conversation in the comments. But for now, this is everything. I'm hoping this video isn't gonna be too long because I know it's a lot of pieces. I know I tried to go through them a little bit faster than usual, but I am just so excited to wash them and put them on my body. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so happy you're back and I look forward to seeing you next time.